Well, it looks like that John Elway has capitulated. And I don't think there's any doubt that Mr. Elway reads P.P. Dubolinsky. Oh, he's definitely tuning in. He's consistently been about two days behind what I've been saying. You hear what he said about drafting a quarterback, huh? There ain't many Aaron Rodgers out there. Only three or four teams with the big gun at quarterback. They're hard to find. And that you're not going to outscore a Green Bay or a Patriots team. You could have lifted that straight from my last video. John Elway is following PP. What he said yesterday was almost the apology I'm looking for and demanding. It's pretty clear that Mr. Elway is going to do the wise thing. Go with Tebow. Draft defense. Build around him in the offense. It's the wise thing. Not so, according to Mark Schlereth, Alfred Williams, Shannon Sharp, Tom Jackson. Oh, that Elway's just gonna shit can the kid. Go down there to the draft and draft the franchise quarterback in the late first round. Unbelievable. Like it's that easy. Even the man himself, John Elway, don't agree now, does he? It's time to capitulate, fellas. It's time to put this Tebow talk to rest. You don't like it, you better learn to love it. And it's the smart thing. You imagine drafting a quarterback in the first round? Instant quarterback controversy. Instant pressure for that draft pick to perform. Especially since this team has other needs. Talk about a risk, huh? Talk about a way to get fired. Oh yeah. That would be downright stupid. But oh no, Tom Jackson. Mark Schlereth. Oh no, it ain't stupid. It's what's gonna happen. Well, time to capitulate, fellas. It's over. And now we can get on to building this team. I would put running back. I know a lot of you people are gonna see cornerback. Cornerback is the top knee. And I don't agree. I don't believe in drafting a cornerback in the first round. Unless he's Neon Deion Sanders. The second coming of Champ Bailey for sure. Rather get him in free agency. And look back at our recent draft history with cornerbacks and it hasn't been pretty, has it? Middle linebacker, running back. What a middle linebacker! Imagine if we had a, imagine if we had a young Willis McGahey. Look around the league at some of these running backs. Imagine if they were Broncos. Since when is Willis McGahey known for ripping off ten yards a carry, huh? How many years was he a short yardage back, huh? Get someone in there. You get a big time running back and look out, baby. Oh yeah. Be running over people left and right. Get some young horse in there running free and clear. And look out. McGahee is your second running back. That Lance Ball. Third. I don't want to hear about Willis McGahee being our number one running back yet again. We need somebody young 
to step in there and take the load off them. Else we're going to be sitting around come playoff time with our thumbs up our ass while our number one running back is Brian Pine with a hamstring or an ankle. Need help on the offensive line? We are not dominant on that offensive line up the middle. We either need a road great and God or kick that Orlando Franklin into God and draft or acquire a right tackle. I want a wide receiver who can do his best impression of Percy Harvin. Eddie Royal can't do it, ain't doing it. Matter of fact, I'd like to see every one of those Eddie Royal pitch plays shit canned to never see the light of day. He's not good running those. We're not doing nothing with them. And they oft end in disaster. Take those Eddie Royal pitch plays, crumple them up, put them in a paper bag, and throw them in the woods. That's right. Throw them in the woods. They suck. Suck. They suck. I don't want to see it no more. Eddie Royal don't do enough. He runs back one punt a year. So be it. Need somebody in there with speed, agility, acuity. You can run them end arounds. Somebody you can even hand off to. And some of these teams may bag on an option player leaving a guy that we can use sitting there to draft and we ought to do it. I like Spencer Lawson but I believe we can do better at fullback. I believe we can upgrade there. What's encouraging is the pass of the Timmy teams and the fact that Demarius Thomas Demarius Thomas seems to be coming his go-to guy. It's a good development. Hopefully it continues. When I first saw that Thomas running around out there, I said, holy hell, this kid looks like a player. We'll see if I was right. But I know there's a video out there of me sitting there while Timmy Teams was drafted. I thought we drafted him too high. I figured Josh McDaniels was just going to run him the first year. And I was mostly correct. Come in, run some plays. But it didn't take until the second preseason game where I changed my two. And I said, this kid can throw a good football. He's throwing a better deep ball than Kyle Orton already. And I don't care about this throw in motion. Don't see any reason why he couldn't learn, couldn't develop like anybody else. It's time we gave him a full off season Training camp, preseason, full year of evaluation. He's earned it, he deserves it. And if for some reason next year we look back and say we got a liability at the quarterback position, then you go and acquire somebody or draft somebody. I don't think it's going to happen. If we're drafting somebody, I believe it's going to be a backup. I don't see any reason why this kid, I don't see any reason why this kid can't develop like anybody else. It seems the big boss is all in on doing the right thing. And I'm sure that he watched 
that he tuned into my earth shattering video last week where the truth and reality smashed him in the face and that's what you get Monday morning when he said what he said the truths of PP to those who have an ear let them hear the truths of PP and now he and his ilk will bow and lay prostrate before the altar of Timmy Teams and the kid will get his chance and the full support of the front office. Got a big game coming up this Saturday. I don't know what to think about it. It's a one o'clock game, which isn't good for the Broncos. Not particularly fond of one o'clock games. Not only that, even when Buffalo sucks, they seem to put up a good fight against the Broncos. Be good if we won, the Raiders lost, and we clinched this weekend. But it's still good to know that winning that Kansas City game puts us in the playoffs. And as far as I'm concerned, the Broncos could get beat 50-3. to 55-3. to They could get walloped in that first round and I don't care it's our Super Bowl just being there just getting in Timmy Teams who was a big part of us getting in there too whether some people want to admit it or not that is our Super Bowl this year he covered for the mistakes of John Fox and John Elway and all the goobers, all the sea cucumbers out there parroting the same crap that we're going to win more than we lose with Kyle Orton. Spreading their lies and distortions. And those who have an ear, let them hear what PP is saying.